Again this evening with the nationwide effort to safely dispose of prescription drugs. The Department of Drug Administration is behind the nationwide event dubbed National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. Police departments across the country inviting people to turn in their unused or expired prescription drugs. The goal to get these dangerous narcotics out of homes and off the streets. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran has a look at local collection efforts on the Central Coast. Hello, come on Hello. in. Hello. Police officers open their doors to the public asking them to turn over their drugs, prescription drugs, on National Drug Take Back Day. Thank you for taking the time today. Yeah. And setting them up. There was actually a citizen that's just dropped off some medication that said that she's had the medications for a very long period of time and just really didn't know what to do with them, wasn't comfortable with throwing them in the garbage, um, and just was just didn't know how to dispose of them appropriately. So uh, this allows people to come in and drop them off, and then the DEA will take the bins and then destroy them by burning them. While these may not be the types of drugs kids are taught to say no to, they can be addictive and lead to harder illicit drugs and crime. In fact, 8 out of 10 new heroin users began by abusing prescription painkillers and moved to heroin when they could no longer obtain or afford those painkillers. The possibility of someone breaking into my home could always occur, but uh, I simply wanted to get them out of the house. At home, it can be easy to mix up pills with your over-the-counter pain relief medication. But in this hand, I have a mix of narcotics and potent antidepressants that if taken incorrectly can be deadly. Controlled uh, narcotics you know, and pharmaceuticals, whether it be opioids or other type of pain medication, you can almost equate it to a firearm you know, when it comes to, to young people and, and, uh, and things like that. You know, if you secure a firearm, not a bad idea to probably secure medication like that. If it's not prescribed to you, you just have no idea how it might interact you know, with you. Last year, law enforcement agencies across the country collected almost 900,000 pounds of unwanted medicines during drug take-back day. More and more police departments and pharmacies have year-round receptacles to get these drugs out of reach. Reporting in Santa Cruz, Bianca Beltran, KSBW, Action News 8. For a list of local agencies with year-round drug collection bins, visit our website, ksbw.com.